Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a drop-down cascading functionality in Windows application. And here we got the complete output. When I select India, yes, we got the states of the India. When I choose Tamil Nadu, it's a Chennai. When I choose Telangana, it's Hyderabad. USA is a California. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the templates, I am choosing Windows application. And the .NET framework is 4.6.1. The project name is Windows Drop Down Cascading. Click OK. And here the Windows project is successfully created. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this design page, I am adding three drop-down controls. Go to Toolbox. I am expanding all Windows forms. Combo box. This combo box for the country. And second combo box for the state. And the last one for the city. Let's add some labels also. F4, the label name I'm giving country. for state and the last label is a city that's it we have done the designing part now before writing the coding part let's open my SQL server management studio We'll take the tables country, state and city. Just for the time saving, I have already created the tables which is a country name, contains two columns. So one is a CID and C name. CID is the auto gendered column. C name is a country names. Let's check the state table. This is a state table contains three columns. SID, CID and S name. SID is an auto gendered columns for the state names whereas the second column CID is a, is a country ID which is this one and the last one is a city name. Notice in the city table contains the second column is a SID which is a state ID this one. Let's switch back to the Windows form. We'll write the coding. Press F7 to go to code behind. First, I'm adding the namespaces of SQL Server using system.data dot SQL client using system.configuration. The system.configuration by default it's not added in the project reference folder. So we need to add manually. Go to Solution Explorer. I am expanding the references folder. And notice there is no system.configuration. Let's add the DLL library. References, right click that one. Add references. In the assemblies framework, system.configuration. Enable the checkbox control, click OK. 
and notice the system dot configuration DLL library is added to the references project folder. Now the next step is we'll add the connection string in the app dot config file. So for that, open Server Explorer. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding my SQL server name is after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name the sample DB database I have created the tables in this sample DB user database test connection okay okay and here we got the sample DB dot DB bar is added under data connections we need the data source of this sample db. Right click the sample db dot db wall. properties. In the properties, the third option is a connection string which is a data source. Copy the whole part. Open solution explorer again. App.config file. Open the inside the configuration. I am adding connection strings. Add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provide a name which is system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app dot config file now switch to the code behind in the public form after initialize component, I want to load the country names on the combo box one. String main con configuration manager dot connection strings and between these double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection placing here dot connection string. SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I have created an object for the SQL connection class and in this I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement I am selecting the country names from the country name table select start from the table name is dbo dot country name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is a command text which is a SQL query the second parameter is the connection object which is SQL connection SQL con let's open the connection string SQL con dot open SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter in this adapter I am adding the SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA.fill, I am filling the data adapter with DT. Combo box one dot value member, and here the value member is CID. Comma box one dot display member is equals to display member which is a C name combo box one dot data source is equals to DG. When the page loads I want to disable the combo box two and three until we select the country name combo box 2 dot enable is false combo box 3 dot 
enable is equals to false that's it we have binded the country name into this combo box one let's check the output start and here we got the output the country combo box is added India US and Australia and also notice the state and city is disabled now my aim is when a user selects the country names I want to bind that state names into this combo box too let's stop debugging switch to the design mode double click the country name in this event selected index change it event if combo box one dot selected value dot to string is not equals to null which means we have selected the country name from the combo box and instead of writing the code again I'm just copying this whole part In the string SQL query instead of the country names I am adding state name where CID is equal to add CID after that SQL com dot parameters dot add with value the first parameter I'm adding at CID copy that one and paste here comma here the object value is a combo box one dot selected value dot two string combo box two dot value member is a SID and display member is a S name combo box 2 combo box 2 and I want to enable this one true that's it let's check the output start and here we got the output I'm selecting Australia see we got the Australia state names New South Wales Victoria and Queensland if I select USA is a California Texas and Florida if I select India and here the India state names are binded let's write the code to bind the city names when we select the states stop debugging switch to the design mode again double click the state just for the time saving instead of writing the coding part I'm just copying the whole part I'm pasting here instead of combo box 1 I'm adding combo box 2 the state name which is city name I'm just replacing city ID state ID sorry SID combo box 2 dot selected value dot 2 string and here the combo box 3 value name value member is a city ID display member is the city NME just replacing combo box 3 data source I'm deleting this one and this is true that's it let's check the final output start and here we got the complete output 
and I select India yes we got the states of the India and I choose Tamil Nadu it's a Chennai when I choose Telangana it's Hyderabad USA is a California that's it